Hello. I'm pretty loud. I don't know if I need a mic, but I'll use it. Well, welcome everybody to share our uh, restaurant. We're so excited to have you here. Um, it's uh, uh, a, a restaurant that I'm super proud of. We sort of we first sat down and started talking about this idea, and we said, well, what do we want the restaurant to be? And to me, that is always, well, what do we, what's the experience we want to create for the diners? And we started talking um, extensively about what it feels like to share a meal with someone, um, how special that time around the dinner table is. And the thing that really stood out to me about going on a cruise is you go on these incredible adventures all day, you see the most beautiful parts of the world, uh, but then you still get back home, this is, this is your home for the next however long you're on the ship for, um, and then you get back and you get to sit down with each other and share the experience of the day. Mm -hmm. My mum used to make us play a game as a kid called Best of Worst. We had to share what was the best thing that happened to us that day and then what was the worst thing that happened to us that day. And it's a really nice way to sort of just communicate with each other and um, understand what's going on. So the idea for the restaurant was born and then we said, well, let's do something um, that's, uh, I guess, uh, you know, a, a, a nice, not that it doesn't take forever, but also just gives you a nice amount of time to sort of decompress from your, your busy day of adventures and sit down and just, uh, you know, enjoy a meal. So what we do is we serve um, a multi multiple courses, so six smaller uh, plates of food, um, which you're going to experience today. The first one that you've already got in front of you, the charcuterie. Uh, which is a little a little nod to my restaurant in, um, in Hollywood. We make all of our own charcuterie there. So today you have a um, sopressata and a Hungarian salami, um, some little pickled onions and mustard seeds that have also been pickled with some beautiful olives. Um, so that's just a little something to get you going. And then I know you're here to talk about photography, but don't forget to try the food. <laughs> it's not just to look at, it's all gonna taste delicious as well. Um, and so the next course that you're going to get, I'll talk to you before it gets here, because I want you to be able to photograph it and mess around with it, and then of course eat it. So um, I'll tell you what it is. It's this beautiful shrimp that we get. Um, we poach it in a court bouillon. To me, seafood, I remember the first chef I ever worked with, we served a lobster salad, and he put like really finely chopped celery in it. And the way he explained it was, when you crunch, when you bite that celery, you hear that crunch, and it reinforces that we're using the freshest, most delicious lobster. And it made me think about the psychology of food in some way, right? Like, you know, if you're sitting by an ocean, as soon as you sit down by the ocean, you feel like fish. If you're, if you're uh, um, out in the country somewhere, you kind of just innately feel like a steak. You know, there's all these different um, thoughts that go on in our brain. So what we do with the shrimp is it's a very textural dish. We use watermelon radish, we use a spicy radish, we use celery, really thinly sliced. So again, when you eat that shrimp salad, you'll hear lots of crunch. Um, and it's done, it's done that way um, on purpose. There's lots of lemon notes. We actually put little dots of a lemon gel. We make a fluid gel. And we put those little dots all over the shrimp and the plate. And then we do the same with the turnip cream. So when you see it, there's all these little dots. And in a way, it's to ensure that you get a little bit of everything with every mouthful. So um, the dish is quite carefully thought out, but it's not meant to make you feel that way. I'm just giving you the insight. It's just meant to feel like a really light, fresh, delicious, citrusy uh, shrimp salad when you get it. But I'm giving you sort of a context as to how we go about um, developing a menu. Then we take brioche that we bake in house, uh, we slice it ultra thin, and we put that as, as a little veil or a little sort of crouton to serve with it, some celery leaves as well. Um, uh, one thing I love about working with Princess is how seriously they take their fresh food. They bake all their own bread on board, they make all their ice creams daily. Um, we bring in incredible seafood, amazing meats and vegetables. They've got this incredible, um, sophisticated way of keeping ingredients so, you know, the ingredients stay at their prime the whole way through. They have a tomato root just for tomatoes and it's kept at a different temperature than the refrigerated vegetables downstairs. So um, if I had time, I would take you all on a journey through the center of the ship, which is really fascinating, but we don't. So um, uh, you're going to get to try lots of different food, but I'll shut up and I'll let you sit down and eat <laughs> because that's the most important part. Um, and I'm going to pop out before each other call so you get to... Um, here, why we've done it. Take some nice photos, but most importantly, enjoy your lunch. Nice Thank, to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.